So welcome back to another episode, and this one is a very, very special episode Can for I me. be the happy console gamer? <laughs> I am a happy console gamer. You've been a happy console gamer yes. for 20 plus years. More and than that. For everybody <laughs> who has, who doesn't know, this is Victor Lucas. Hello. And he didn't like that I called him this earlier on. A Canadian icon. Oh boy, come on. A Canadian icon yeah. doing the Electric Playground for 20 years. Uh, more. More. Yes. No, I created it in, uh, in 95. We launched on the web in 95. Uh, and, uh, we started our television show in 97. Uh, it started, the idea for EP was as a TV show, but it took me a little while to kind of, uh, convince everybody that they should give me the money to make <laughs> a TV show. And, uh, and so we started a website, but in 95, we were shooting at the very first E3 and, uh, collecting all kinds of interviews. I met Tommy Tellerico at the very first E3 yeah. and, uh, posted a lot of that stuff. We actually had video on our website in 1995. And this is like pre YouTube. Way this, before YouTube. That's yeah. what's so fascinating. Yeah. So you're doing YouTube really before YouTube. But it was, we were doing, I think, behind the scenes video game coverage on a regular basis before anybody. Before anybody. Yeah, and it, it was really, it started with the idea that I wanted to visit these studios. I wanted to know who these people were that were making these things. I felt like they got no attention and no respect. And there was just a great deal of mystery before I started EP. There was always this... Uh, you know, I, I would read the magazines and stuff like that, but I think the general sort of feeling was that there was just a big machine and they pulled a lever and then a cartridge. Things would come that happen, up. yeah, exactly, yeah. And, and yeah. You'd stick that into the game machine, but it was like a great deal of artistic creativity and uh, sophisticated, uh, you know, uh, storytelling and sophisticated, you know, content making and yeah. a very um, uh, ambitious and uh, optimistic. Mm -hmm. uh, with the way that people were conceiving all of this entertainment for us, and I felt like they were being derided by <laughs> television, and it still it blows me away because yeah. so much of what's happening in, in sort of the mainstream, I hate to say mainstream media because it's been Trumpized now, or mm -hmm. every time I, I hear myself say that, I think of Donald Trump, which sucks, but <laughs> main, mainstream media has really kind of missed, I think, the um, importance, the why of games. Yeah. They always talk about the money, they always talk about the controversy, they always talk about, uh, you know, a, a, a disaster like some kind of company going under or people getting fired but they never talk about why we care why why yeah. they culturally matter to all of us and i felt like a show that dived right in to do that would win and be successful and people would dig it and let me say for all the canadians watching mm. we grew up watching you uh i started watching it must have been 1998 to you know the early 2000s and i was like oh my god there's a television show about video games this was like the most exciting thing for me to watch and i, I told you earlier on i get so excited on a sunday when there'd be back-to-back -back episodes right. one episode would end up like Damn, I'd be like leaving the room and I'd be like, wait, there's another episode? And I'd run back in and watch it. And it was really nice to see a video game show by fans, for yeah, fans. Yeah. And I think that's why all of us in Canada were like, wow, this is so cool. We could really relate. The reviews were good. It was awesome. It was a really fun show. And guy went for 20 years? We did 25 seasons of Electric Playground. We wow. spun off our most popular segment of, uh, we're actually kind of in our 25th or and a half season this year. I'm gonna say, go ahead and just call this year of EP our 26th season. Wow. Uh, it's just a small team, but we've been cranking out content all year long on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch. And, uh, and people seem to be really digging it and it's been a lot of fun. But yeah, we did 25 seasons of EP. We spun off Reviews on the Run, which was a segment that we created right from the very beginning of the show into its own show mm -hmm. in uh, 2002. Uh, EP went daily in 2008, so we expanded our material to a lot more content that gamers would dig. So, you know, movies and comics and uh, collectibles and awesome events and a lot of science stuff. That's one of the things I'm really proud of is that we would visit NASA and yeah, you know, amazing. dig into like, uh, you know, technologies and, and um, uh, things that were fascinating and interesting and also impactful, I think, to a, yeah. a game consumer because a lot of that stuff would filter back into games. How, how, how does it feel going from like doing a television show, like yeah. almost daily, as you said, to now doing daily, uh, you know, stuff for YouTube, like a, a daily YouTube show? Personally, it hasn't changed too much for mm -hmm. me because my job still is to consume the content, whether yeah, it's yeah. to play that, the that's games. That's the fun bits, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's why I created all this stuff. I, I felt like I had something that I could share with people around this material. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, a hunger and an appetite to learn more and to play and mm -hmm. and um, 
I think as time has gone on, now I have many years of, of uh, perspective to relay oh, yeah. in the content that I do, whether it's interviews or, well, or we're, we're, reviews. We're, we're older people now, so yeah. like we have, we have like 25 years, 30 years of video game playing yeah. under our belts, yeah. which is ridiculous. Not bad for a couple 31-year-olds, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 30. I'm yeah. 21. Oh, sorry. 20, I just turned 21 didn't here. Mean What's age going you. on? But, didn't mean you, but, but um, the, show, like, the show that you guys are doing now is fantastic, and the editor, Baruti's over here. Yep. You know, he's... <laughs> He's, Hello. He's off, he's off camera, but bear, bear rocks. Bear, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, unbelievable. He came on to do some Street Fighter episodes with me, and he does a, a lot of commentary for mm -hmm. Evo and stuff like that, which he's amazing at, uh, and hey, stuff hey. like that. Yeah, I hear. Thank you from over there. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's just an amazing thing to have you over here and to you know to see you guys' show every single day. And I just want to say, you guys have to check out his show. You have to check it out. It's one of the best news shows on YouTube for video game news. It's actually a show that I watch and I'm like, man, I wish my show was that good. You know? <laughs> oh, that's, that's very kind. I, I really, really enjoy it a lot. I watch it every single day. And you, I don't know, you just bring, you're not a fanboy of one system. You just tell the news how it is and you add your own little bits in there. But I, I just, it's a very personal, very thoughtful show. And I, I think I really, really appreciate it. Well, thank you. And it's uh, a big chunk of it is the, uh, you know, the writing and the directing and the cutting that, uh, that Blake Siefkin does on yeah. the show every day. He's uh, you know, a tremendous talent. He's a really, really remarkable ally to work with. And I think we've shaped something with the rundown. It was the first segment in EP Daily. And I felt like when we launched with our content on, uh, on YouTube primarily this year, I thought it was important to kind of, I called it a pace generator in, in EP. It was sort of the, the part of the show that had rocket boosters on. <laughs> and it got us into the content at the beginning mm. of our 23 minute show every day. Yeah. And it was actually 60 minutes because reviews on the run went daily as well. So we had uh, you know half hour of previews and interviews and stories and news, and then a half hour of reviewing all of that stuff that we'd been talking about. And so that was a lot of content There's for a, a lot consumer of consumer to sit back and watch and, yeah. and soak up. So the rundown became a very important ignition for all of that. It yeah. was like, let's get in. What's happening right now? Yeah. And, and it's also um, something that we can control and contain and produce effectively and affordably. Doing a daily news show is, is it requires a lot of effort. Well, a lot of effort. You know, between Blake and I and Bear, too, because he's, he's cut a bunch, you know, and, and yeah. we've been able to come up with some uh, some solid content every single day but there's there's never a dull moment especially if you widen your circle a little bit so it's not mm. just just about video games i find that the sometimes the video game culture gets a little too insular well, gets no, a little too for me i, I cover anime and video games and dungeon yeah. drinks they're all related all, and mo movies you know like star wars and all it's, it's all related, all related. Yeah. if you're really a fanboy of this like of the media yeah. uh, mass media then that's that's what these shows are all about yeah. for sure like especially yeah. your show as well you're covering a lot of new movies mm -hmm. things like that it's fantastic so where can people find you uh, epn tv youtube.com slash EPN TV. I'll put a link down below so you guys can make up your own minds. Click on it, check it out, subscribe. It's a fantastic show. And I can't tell you what an honor it is for me watching you over the last 20 years on television is standing in my games room. Oh, dude. It's a, it's a huge honor for me. It really is. It makes me feel like... Well, you, I was so excited going to bed last night. I'm like, oh my God, I get to <laughs> interview Victor Lucas in my games room. Well, like, you're one of the pros, boring. man. You're was, doing a great job on YouTube. I'm and you're getting, fun. You have tons of people that are watching. And yeah. I'm still learning. You know, I've, I've had a very... Uh, uh, in a very fortunate long career of being able to produce something with a group of people and just sort of send it out into the world and we hoped everybody was liking it and watching <laughs> it but there was not this immediate response and that's something that I really kind of loved this year yeah. as I've been learning how to do a little bit more of this stuff is to to kind of connect with people right away to see if they like it or don't like it and I got to tell you, I mean, like our, our subscriber base isn't huge because we're still mm -hmm. kind of growing and figuring this out. But the feedback has been so inspiring. Oh, you get man. a great audience right it's now. It's so inspiring. The, the it's comments that you, you get on your videos are awesome. It really is. You know, I can't thank the viewers enough. And, you know, there's a lot of supporters out there that uh, have loved our shows over the mm -hmm. years. And, and I, they either don't know that we're out there and because everybody's busy and I get that. And there's so much stuff to, <laughs> so much stuff to, to going consume on and follow yeah. and uh, but people either, they find us and they're kind of shocked that we're still rocking and still making all this stuff. And I <laughs> yeah. see those comments. It's so gratifying. 
And I know that there's lots of people out there that are like, where did he go? What happened to this guy? You're still you're still 100% there. You've never left. Yeah. And it's so funny. I felt so funny bringing you in here. I'm like, this is my Wayne's World setup. You know? <laughs> yeah. This is where we feel Wayne's World. It's just like such a homegrown type of show. Uh, it's got to be authentic, dude. That's, yeah. That's the, that's yeah. their, their secret to longevity. You I know? think this is, there's a thing that you really can't lie to the camera about your own enthusiasm. No. You, know? you can't be like, I really like Star Wars. It's a good movie about space people. I'll tell you something. You know? Everybody that does that, Mm -hmm. And every time they do that, mm -hmm. they're dying a little bit. <laughs> and people hate yeah. themselves. Yeah. And this happens proliferate in the television industry. People have to put on that happy face. I mean, we're, we hear about stuff all the time, you know, like, I don't want to try throw people under the bus, but we hear about these people that are living a lie in front of the camera. And yeah. it's tragic, you yeah. know, especially because so many people would just love that opportunity to be given that chance and they've got a light inside them that would just yeah. you know really rock in front of the camera but for whatever reason they don't do it and they look at these people with stars in their eyes and and uh and they just don't and they're empty inside because they're they're saying crap that they're not supposed to I think, or that I think, they don't really believe i think you know? some people want to be celebrities on youtube they want to be yeah. known as i i'm a well-known guy on youtube uh Rather than loving the hobby, yeah. you know, I'm just talking for the video game scene yeah. and movie scene, stuff like that, not really enjoying the medium. Like, this is like my life, and I know it's your life. You yep. love all of this stuff. We've loved this stuff for I'm years. I'm very comfortable right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always have. These are a lot of my good friends are right behind me. If I'm really like... stressed out, I walk in here and I'm like, everything's going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everything will yeah. be all right. Yeah, it takes me back at my ha our happy place. If really. you threw some more uh, action figures around here, this would look very much like my I don't play. have the room for yeah. action yeah. figures anymore. I had to pack all of those away. I have a lot of stormtroopers, truly. Yeah. I gotta, but anyways, that's a thing for another time. So. Yeah. But I just want to thank you so much for coming on the show. Of course. I really appreciate it. It's like a dream come true for this small Canadian over here. Anytime. And we'll have you uh, on our show, on our channel, wow. in the very near future, brother. That would be amazing, man. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks again. Johnny Absolutely. Millennium. Victor Lucas. But it's John, right? And, yeah. yeah. And it's not, call it... it's, it's not Victory Lucas either. No, it's not Victory it's, Lucas. It should be, though. <laughs> Victory Lucas. That sounds amazing. That should be the ultimate thing. So Don't start something, John. <laughs> I'm starting. Anyways, guys, until next time.